What is going on everyone? Today we are looking ahead far into the future, actually not so far anymore, but of 2022 to talk about what we should be seeing down the pipe for Ashes of Creation this year. Starting with one of my favorite things and pretty high up there on my wish list, that being merch. Yes, it sounds silly for a lot of you. It really has nothing to do with the features in the game, but I am wanting to blow all of my money to fill up my shelves on some Ashes of Creation collectibles. And when these guys were revealed last June, Steven said that they're supposed to drop sometime in the fall slash winter. And since we have already passed the fall, well, any week now, I'd love to see the Ashes store come back to life with a ton of new collectibles and clothing. Will this actually happen this winter? Who knows, because this is kind of the development process and they could get delayed into the spring or summer because anything with everything these days are behind, especially with manufacturing and production of like everything. We then got the big one being Alpha 2. With Alpha 1 ending back in August, we are now five months into the post development of Alpha 1 with them gathering all the feedback and working it into the game, making changes that they need along with continuing to develop those new features. Even though the devs working on Ashes of Creation are excellent at what they do, all of this still takes a lot of time and I doubt we will be seeing Alpha 2 until towards the end of 2022. I mean Alpha 1 was originally announced in 2019 with set dates and and it hit numerous delays before the alpha finally came out. And with an even bigger jump with most of the core features being implemented into alpha 2 and a giant vast majority of the world and a combat system and all of these classes and all of that, it's going to take some time to do. I'm sure they've been working on these things far before alpha 1 even started, but to get them implemented and to get them right so they can start showing them off to the players is still going to take some time. But that doesn't mean we won't see spot testing earlier in the year because as the devs put in new features they will still need these tested before alpha 2 and giving those people with alpha 1 access the ability to play a bit and sink their teeth into new content because we know spot testing is coming we just don't know when it's coming we don't know how it's going to work if it's going to be weekend testing or just sporadic 30 minutes here and there a couple hours here and we don't know if there's going to be an nda or anything on it so we'll have to wait and see on that we can also expect to see the game itself progress as it continues to utilize a Unreal 5's features, seeing it truly grow into a next-gen MMO. Although it may not utilize everything to 100% max, as Intrepid wants this game to be available to the wider audience and not just those with high-end computers. And I'm willing to bet we'll see a lot more of the engine take light as time goes on beyond just the updating the lighting and the increased poly count on textures. But also there will be a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that we don't actually see that Unreal 5 is helping with as well that can make the game better. Along with all of this, now that Intrepid is finally getting back into the studio, I really hope that we see them get back into the rhythm with articles and videos on behind the scenes of development, features, breakdowns, and all of that good stuff that we were getting back before COVID sent everyone home. What are you hoping to see from Ashes of Creation in 2022? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you're new to Ashes at all, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.